I'm Brady Ellison and this is part two to the holding series. So in part one of this series we covered setup and drawing and now we're going to continue on in the second part of this series into how to anchor and transfer correctly. So when we're talking about anchor there's a couple of things you're going to want to do. First thing is your this wrist angle is not going to change. That. After you've completely drawn the bow, the string is on your chin, you're just going to lift your hand straight up and into your jaw. So you're going to have a nice solid contact all along the top part of your finger here. It's going to be bone on bone contact. You're not going to be able to get any up and downs and it's going to really decrease the chance of you shaking with that nice solid contact. Another thing is my wrist is still cocked. I still have this angle right here from my thumb being stretched back all the way from finger position all the way through the draw cycle all the way up in the anchor I haven't moved this. Now I'm able to put this part of my thumb behind the tendon right here and really get that completely locked in too so I have contact from this point all the way down my hand all the way down there. If you can do this it's going to help you tremendously. If you can't don't worry about it. What I want you to do is when you come back come back and anchor and if your thumb rest right against that, just press into that. Don't make it real uncomfortable, but if you're able just to take your thumb and let it come in and press against that tendon, you'll still have that same contact all the way around here. So now you have two points of contact. You have it all along your thumb and all along your jawbone and finger bone. So it's just another reference point to stop the shaking and make a nice, clean, crisp shot. Now you have these two reference points on the top of your hand and on your thumb. Another thing you're going to notice is you're going to have your string nice and tight into your chin and the front of your chin and you're also going to have the string touching the front of your nose. So now you have four reference points on your face after you've achieved your anchor point. So the last thing that we're going to talk about in the series is transfer. Transfer is a very important step. It's just as much mental as it is physical. There's a lot of internal movement so I'm going to be able to tell you exactly how it feels and show you how to do this. So the physical side of transfer is a lot of feeling. So we've already been all the way back here. You have all this feeling in your back, in your lower trapezius in the back of your shoulder. And you've anchored, you have a nice tight anchor. Now what transfer is, is a slight movement of the elbow backwards. And what this does is it gets all the tension that you have, or as much as possible, out of your hand, your forearm, and your bicep and puts it all on your back. You're really going to feel this a lot, even though you might not move that much, you're going to have a really intense feeling increase in your back. And after this point is when you are absolutely ready to shoot the arrow. So when we're talking about transfer and how much movement you should have, how much did you see? For me, it's only about an eighth inch, less than an eighth inch. And the reason for this is when I set up, I have 50 to 60% of my holding is all the way in my back, all the tension. So there's not very much tension in my arm already. As I draw the bow back, it's less and less. As I anchor, I'm already at 95, 90% on my back. So there's very little tension there. So when I transfer, I only have a very minimal amount of tension that I need to transfer to my back. So if you come up here and you only have, say, 30%, on your back and as you draw back you have 50% of your tension and then you anchor and it's like 60%. Now you might have to move a half inch to get the rest of the tension from your arm into your back and when, I, when you move what's really happening is you're getting in a better of alignment so your elbow is coming into the position where you're strongest and after you do that that's when we could go into expansion and really shoot the shot. So mentally what's going to happen when you transfer is you're going to have all this tension in your back. You know that you're going to be in that strongest position to shoot your bow. So mentally at that point in time you are completely committed to the shot. You know that your body is going to take over and that you're going to shoot the best shot possible. So in part one we went over setup and draw and in the second series is part two we have covered anchor and transfer. Now with these four things covered we have a properly achieved the holding position and now that we know that we can go on and properly execute a nice strong shot.